Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sisso here, bringing you guys yet another video here today. Bring you guys a cool little banner design tutorial here today. So yes, it's been at least like a month and a half or a month or two weeks or whatever since the last time we did a banner design tutorial. So of course, I had to bring one back for you guys. Uh, as always, I kind of like, I kind of want to keep it. I have this really good, I have this really, really good streak of like videos going. Like you guys have been really supporting the hell out of me. I don't know what the hell's going on. However, I'm not complaining, but it's just like, okay. Like I'm just down. I'm always good to go if there's new people. It's it's fun it's been a very very good month for myself on the channel uh, overall thank you guys so much for the support is basically what I'm saying and yes I am still sick so okay cool so if you guys didn't know I wanted to kind of bring back the cold little showcase designs or showcase banner design tutorial that I did like a year ago just because I felt like it was a really cool concept and a lot of people actually received it very very well because of course if you want to see your social media designs if you're a designer like myself or just some kind of person who wants to you know showcase man like uh, I guess a various thing like a video games right various video games that you play on your uh, on your so I almost said social media on your YouTube and uh, pretty much you can just put them all in this little area like I have going on here um, but of course, if you're a designer as well, something like that, maybe you can have, uh, you know, some works of yourselves or works that you created in your actual banner design, in your actual social media design, and pretty much it's a really cool way to like kind of just capture an audience very fast and get like the point across if you're a gaming, you know, channel, what kind of games you play. So, very cool way of showing Casey or showcasing your actual various content. So, that's kind of what I wanted to do for you guys today and just show you guys how to do something like this. Now, I'm a really big fan of my left side here. It's just a match like this side is not here because I feel like. I could have done better with picking or choosing my um what do you call it my uh the what i'm working with here like you know my the projects that i have here because the composition looks kind of weird however you know i just i just really took whatever was on my desktop and just put it in here so yeah um also of course two likes on the video equals a secret down below which will basically get a template that looks like this uh boom right which looks pretty freaking awesome for a very simple template like i said if you're a gaming channel whatever the hell you are your template will look something like this exactly so of course just leave like on the video and most likely you're going to be having this little psd to uh just enjoy and stuff so uh yeah let's go ahead and get this thing started and uh yeah okay let's just do this thing so basically the starting color that i'm going to be using for today's tutorial is hex code 020c13 that'll give you the same exact color that i have right here if you put that in this little box here press ok and then you're pretty much good to go now the first thing we're gonna have to do of course is actually make this little banner in the middle which is like kind of like the main thing so let's go ahead and do that really quickly um i can cheat right now by just pen tooling it out right here because i'm a loser and i can cheat like that however i'll show you guys what i actually did to do it just because so uh i mean it's kind of tedious in a way but if you think about it i mean it's all worth it um so pretty much what i went ahead and did was i kind of went and just kind of let's bring this ruler down here and kind of just click right there and then we're just going to go actually go out of the canvas right so what i did was basically like uh start up from like a corner right and i just kind of went to the middle i'm using my rulers here control h uh will hide my rulers by the way but of course if you don't have your middles and set or your ruler set for the middle and stuff like that all you have to do is actually by the way this is the psd uh document size i'm using a simple twitter header dimension uh 3000 by 1000 uh really quickly if you guys don't have your ruler set control r brings up your rulers and pretty much you just drag the ruler where you think and just guess where the middle is and of course it will snap on the actual dimension you'll see it snaps you see that snap it's snapping that means it's right there in the middle same thing for the horizontal uh as the vertical line so yeah there you go so right it's kind of easy to do that so that's what i kind of did there Pick the side, went to the middle, went to the other side. I made sure I made a ruler so I knew exactly where I stopped at. Went all the way around the canvas, and now I'm just gonna fill this in with a color now. So fill this in with any color, it doesn't really matter whatsoever. I'll just fill it in with white. Now what I did was I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift. Alt allows me to duplicate the layer that I'm gonna, but I'm what I have selected right now. Also, Shift moves it in an orientation that's only gonna move in the direction that you originally moved it. So if I move it down, it'll only move up and down, but not left and right. That's kind of why I do that, so that way I know it's exactly on the same orientation, no no movement going on, and it's not you know skewed in any way. So Control T to free transform, right click, flip vertical, and we're gonna go ahead and just make sure that this is perfectly centered at the bottom as well and then this is kind of how i did it so if you can get like get a good nice little guess pretty much what i did was i combined these two things together don't really have to now what you can do is either select the middle of it and just kind of fill this in with a color with an, and a new layer of course so right click uh fill where is my fill that's not a thing hello where's the fill oh i'm not on a thing okay press m on your keyboard of course uh fill that in with a color really quickly 
and you'll see that you have basically the little template in the middle for you guys that's the quickest way of doing it another way of doing it is if you want to just you take a pen tool here kind of like basically follow exactly where you ended up before and you can get like even i don't know it does i don't think there's a difference in quality if you fill it in with just using the shape uh the, excuse me the um the red uh the marquee tool the the wand bro it's the wand if you have a problem then it's just like pen tool just like this and pretty much you're good to go either freaking way i'm just gonna use the pen tool one because i trust it a little more for some reason and then you can delete that little silly little white uh what is a top bottom little kind of header templates that we use and we're pretty much at this point where you actually basically where we got to start so pretty much what the first thing i actually did was surprisingly i'm going to call this the main box first thing i did was i made a new layer and i clipping mask this layer onto this main box layer right that way only that only thing only thing that's going to show on this layer will be of course attached to this main box i'm going to take the rectangle marquee tool take a rectangle and pretty much just go like so right on the bottom edge kind of give myself a cool little I don't know what I want to call it just like kind of like a I don't know, just like a cool little mark so basically I'm just gonna for now I'm gonna fill it in with a, a darker color than this gray that I have here just because you know that there's a difference here deselect it's almost like a drop shadow away or like a bevel going on it'll it will fix a little bit right now you can probably just do like an inner shadow and kind of lower your distance down and you know there we go we'll just leave it at that for now so there we go we have something like this going on and so pretty much this is where you start doing this right now keep in mind guys i did use rectangles oh my god my freaking nose is like killing me um basically you can see however you know the the lines that i have going on here are basically my separators so what your separators can be i'm just going to call it separators because it's a it's a cool name for you know these little white <laughs> little separators we're going for it um so basically you can see i did i can you can do anything right so you can do something like this like i have basically simple little rectangles going on here or more of like a wider edge to a shorter edge what i'm going on what's happening here but you can do something like you know i don't know curves curves or whatever like you can do like a curve um you can do triangles you can do like a straight up and down you can do whatever the hell you want to do i'm going to follow this example here uh that how i did before however just make sure you guys know that you can do whatever the hell you guys want to do now i'm going to call this what i call this the the drop we're just going to call it the drop i could have called it raindrop i had a, I had a chance i had a chance all right so basically i'm gonna go ahead and do that then so let's go ahead and make those little uh separators right so i'm just gonna make it wide rather than edge or the top and i'm gonna fill this in with a white <laughs> i can probably make it a little offset white just a little less than white just like so uh basically delete the path and i can just basically i see base i see, yo bro i said basically like five times already all right we're gonna call this separator separate one sure and there we go we'll put it right below the little drop there so this this is pretty much what we're gonna do so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold alt and shift again and then just drag it over and make a couple just like so i think that's okay i can move this over just a little bit maybe and then maybe move this one over as well and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply shift click on all the little separators you just made. Control J, Control T, right click, flip horizontal. That basically means it's going to separate or excuse me, flip them in the exact same way that you have it on the other side. Uh, and we're going to make sure we have this clip mask again. And pretty much you have both the actual separators evenly on both sides. I'm not sure entirely if they're on the same exact level almost like this is just a little off right here uh, just for people who are probably going to be tilted there you go now they're perfectly symmetrical and all that cool stuff now once you have this thing going on you can name them if you want to i'm just gonna keep it clean so you guys know what the heck's going on all these are basically little separators six separators that i have going on here and you're pretty much you're getting to the point where we're almost actually done in a way however we have, of course have to throw in our designs or our whatever it is that we're doing now really quickly however i'm going to actually steal my logo from here because i forgot to get it but that's the only thing i need for now right shrink that down a little bit Put my logo in the middle because that's kind of how i want to do that also i'm going to go ahead and go into my illustrator here drag in some of these cool little things uh, just a couple of these little designs. Um, we'll start off with the logos that I have on the left side. Right. Boom. We'll drag these things in. Bada bing. Let's go ahead and open up this and throw in the last one here. I, I couldn't find the actual regular one, so I'm, gonna, I'm keeping it fast for you guys. You guys understand? So basically, what you're going to do is obviously going to take your object here. You're going to take your object, whatever you want to put in a separator, and basically a little box here. Shrink it to like where you kind of want to see. Let's Let me show you guys what I mean. Shrink it to a point. 
where it covers the entire the entire canvas, like this entire little rectangle here, but also show whatever you want to show in your design. So I'm, I want to show a lot of this, his face here. So that's kind of want to do it. So pretty much now what you're going to do is you're going to simply drop it below this little drop thing, which is that little thing right here. It's going to be clip mask automatically. If not, right click, clip mask it. That way you guys know what's going on here. Um, we're going to just call this L1 because that's a logo for one. And pretty much what you can do is just simply go ahead and just delete this here on the outsides. And I did load the pack so I can see where the actual separator here is. I don't want it on this side uh, moving into this. So I'm going to go ahead and, of course, uh, basically take my pen tool, shape around it, and then, uh, excuse me, right click, make selection, delete on your keyboard. And then I actually have to drag this below, where is it? The separator all the way in the bottom so that way it's no longer being seen right there i can turn my opacity back on and basically it's a rinse and repeat process from here on out so i'm gonna go ahead and just quickly go ahead and do that for you guys next one is the wolf one so i'm gonna shrink it down to a point where i'm like you know i think that's pretty perfect i think it shows everything i wanted to show off and there we go so basically drag it below here this is l2 and we're gonna go ahead and just take this all out. So if you find yourself in a situation where you don't wanna have to go like, you know, do a shape around here, delete it, do a shape around here, delete it. All you can do is just click around in the middle, right click, make selection, press okay. Then press M on your keyboard, brings up the rectangle marquee tool, right click, select the inverse, and then press delete on your keyboard after you rasterize your image, of course, so you can actually delete it. There you go, and it's a really quick way of just like, you know, having to do only one cut rather than two cuts on both sides. So that's the way I'm doing it there. Perfect, we're going good, we're looking good. Last but not least, the, uh, I already have that in there, right here. We're gonna go ahead and lower that down a little bit, and we're gonna say to ourselves, I think this is pretty good, like so. And then we're just gonna go ahead and drag this down here. L2 or L3, it's an L3. We're gonna go with it, there we go. Rasterize it so I can do, uh, delete stuff. Go ahead and do the same exact thing. And it's kind of repeat, it's just basically, you know, you pick what you wanna actually put in your separators. I'm gonna go ahead and do the right side. I'm probably gonna speed that up though so you already know what, you know, the whole process is. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a quick second. All right, and we're pretty much good. So that was really quick and simple for me. And pretty much we're gonna go ahead and do this main box really quickly. And we're gonna take the main bo box and make it the same as that color as the background really quickly. And we're gonna go ahead and rasterize it. That way it can show everything once again. And what we're gonna do really quickly is we're gonna make a new layer below the drop thing here. So we're gonna make a new layer below there. We're gonna go ahead and pen tool out this. I can't see it perfectly, but I'm just gonna take a wild guess and make sure I got the top right. If I didn't, I'll fix it. However, I wanna basically pen tool out this little, uh, what is this called? A freaking, is it a rhombus? No, it's not a rhombus, it's a trapezoid? Bro, I don't know my shapes. This is bad, that's a trapezoid, right? I think so. Anyway, take your shape in the middle, whatever shape you got, you know, after you did your little, uh, little separators here. On that new layer, right click on it, make a new layer, select any color, it does not matter whatsoever. And then you're just gonna drop the fill all the way down to zero. Double click on the actual layer here and go to inner glow. Take your inner glow, put your size up, take your color here, change it to white, press OK. Change your blend mode from screen to overlay. And that way you get this little cool simple, if you want to, you can put your choke up a little bit as well. Opacity can go up as well. And you get this nice little simple clean like little glow going around this this little middle piece which is pretty good and i'm gonna do the same exact thing for this little like this little uh drop here i'm gonna make the same color as the background and we're gonna apply the same effect i also i'm gonna keep my inner shadow of course but i'm gonna take this inner glow and we're gonna go ahead and make this white oh no i, I think i have this as a different color we're gonna actually change this color to what like that blue from here right i think that's what i had it on yep totally had that on that i can take my inner glow as well put the same exact settings on that's fine but i like it like that for now press ok and pretty much we're almost done now with the things i did for the background here that made my background look really cool i literally just took one of the um i took a a file from i don't know what the hell i did what did i do i think i just did 
Oh yeah, actually, I actually used one of my top three submissions that he had like a background he sent to me. I used, actually used that for a background for the backing for this. However, I also used a couple simple brush uh, brushes from my brush pack. I just used, which one was this one right here? I made this thing uh, a nice white color here. And then I kind of just did something like this, right? Boom on the top, boom like that. And then overlay, put that down a little bit. Now if I want to, I'll just make a duplicate really quickly of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to filter, blur, motion blur. We're gonna motion blur the hell out of this. And we're gonna see what kind of effect are we gonna get. This is just gonna be a simple little motion blur. Uh, let's see, what kind of, what can I do here? That looks really weird, but also really cool at the same time. What the hell, that looks really awkward. Also really cool in a way. All right, we're just gonna put on an overlay. However, if you wanna do something like this as well, take a nice little brush hit in the middle with a simple low hardness, what is it, zero hardness brush. Click one time in the middle, put it on overlay. You can do something like that as well. Also, if you wanna put a simple brush hit in the middle of this as well, like, where is it? I would say just put it below the drop and then take a white brush, click one nice time in the middle here, put it on overlay. Then you can have a nice little, you know, a nice little glow of color going on right there as well. Um, so yeah, what I did for finalization was what I'm just gonna do. I'm probably just gonna. F where is that thing at? Let's see. One second. Okay, I found it. There we go. It's in here. All right. So here is that shape that I. Use. Oops. Let's put this above here really quick so it doesn't mess anything up. Throw it in first. Throw this down here. I use literally this image from my one of my top threes. And what I did was, I just applied a simple little blur to it. It's totally not what it's supposed to be used for, but I've just, I, it was on my desktop, and I was like, I kind of need something right now, and this is kind of how it came apart. So I went ahead, put this, I believe it was on soft light. Was it on soft light? I believe it was on soft light, right? And so I'm like this, I dragged that there. Also, I made a duplicate of it and put it inside of the actual main box, right? And I'm just gonna move that around a little bit, kind of get a cool little effect going on there. And pretty much last but not least, take a nice little brush hit with a simple, uh, like this color in the bottom here is fine. By the way, this color is hex code 39F5F5, uh, pressing OK. Click a couple times just like so. That's pretty much, that's a pretty big brush, just a medium sized brush. And to change your blend mode to, I believe, linear dodge or color dodge. Which one's going to work for me? I think this color is a little too bright. We're going to go on with another different tone of that blue. We're going to probably go with like... I don't know, like the inside of like this, like this kind of blue. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. And linear dodge add. Okay, I'm a fan. I can control U it to change the color if I want to. See what the colors there are. Down for this. Just, you know, kind of fix it up a little bit. Also, we're going to add a brightness and contrast at the end. So pretty much you want to go negative to your brightness and then positive to your contrast. And you get a pretty nice setting right here. I'm liking this. I do like this. Now, if you guys want to, you can go through every little thing. I'm going to make a new layer below my drop. If you want to, you can go through and put a simple, you got to have the pencil that's actually pretty perfect, just like so, until you get to like right here in this corner, right? And then you can go all the way around. Use um, make selection, right click, make selection, press OK. Take your brush, take a black from your for your foreground color here, and then just like, you can kind of just, you know, kind of basically make simple little drop shadows going in there if you want to. You can do something like that. You can just basically, all you have to do is just basically select or pen tool out at least the corner perfectly, the one, the, the corner you want. So I want this corner, I'm pen tooling that out perfectly. And now I'm gonna just go all the way around because it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna go on this side. Take my brush and then just go in just like so. If you wanna repeat that process going all the way through, it will give you a cool little depth to your actual banner design and it'll look even better. And then last but not least, final touches, a uh, graphic designer. Uh, drag that up there, right? What color is it? Oh, I think it was like white. We're gonna make designer. Oh, we're gonna make it all actually. We're gonna make this. What's the font called? Oh no, God, what is it called? Oh, oh God. Oh, built. There it is. There we go. I, I remembered. All right, boom. It was this one, and then we're gonna make designer bold. Shrink that. Go back a little bit. Boom, like so, make sure it's in somewhat of the middle. That's in the middle. And on the bottom, we're gonna make it www.sesohq.com. Next to bold for the subtext. Shrink it down a little bit more. 
Also make this color the same color as that. Press OK, press little check mark, and there you guys go. You have your cool little fun showcase banner design tutorial. I don't know why I said, why did I have a tutorial? A, a banner design design. There you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to likes on the video. It goes a secret down below. Once again, thank you guys so freaking much for the support. I honestly mean it so very much. And also thank you for bearing with my sickness for the past week. Um, so yeah. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at SessoHQ. Also, make sure you guys check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SessoHQ for any pre and packs as low as three bucks. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, comment down below uh, just basically any tutorial you want to see me do because, you know, why not? And, uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. SessoHQ out. Peace. Don't forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay productive. Later.